And one last thing, and that is, you serve on the board of the One Campaign. I do. Um, I went to their website yesterday, and they had a an appeal to the Trump administration not to cut international aid funds, diplomatic funds, State Department funds, uh, as the Trump administration has proposed. Um, why do you think the Trump administration is making proposals of that kind, and what do you think will happen to them? Uh, you know, proposals to cut foreign assistance or uh, come up regularly. If you, if you poll the American people and you ask them, you know, how much of the federal budget goes to uh, to foreign assistance, though they typically give a number like most common number is 25 percent. Mm -hmm. uh, it turns out that the amount that we spend on foreign assistance is less than one percent of the budget. Um, so you're not going to solve any budget problems by by you know, reducing the number of anti-AIDS drugs that we're able to distribute around the world. Do you think President Trump realizes those facts? He may. He may. You know, he's, uh, Mick Mulvaney is, is a very talented and, uh, uh, I think, in, in many ways, inspired choice to be the budget director. And he had a tough job. He had to, he had to figure out how, in their first budget, to, to try to affect what was, uh, um, in many respects, campaign rhetoric about increasing defense spending, which is necessary, uh, while, re while reducing other spending. And he didn't have the leeway, in this budget anyway, to go to where the real budget problem is, and which is in entitlements. So he's well, he just didn't have the leeway. He has a president who's sworn not to do that. Right, and and I and I think eventually they're going to have to get around if they if they're serious about uh, fiscal restraint and fiscal responsibility. We're gonna, eventually going to have to get around to a serious conversation about how to restrain the um, the unsustainable growth in Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, all of our entitlement programs. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.